afternoon and thank you for the opportunity you gave me to do this interview. I would like to ask these following questions to you. May you please introduce yourself to the listeners? Uh, my name is Tawazan Nchunta, uh, Willowvale, as you know, uh, under the Mbashem Municipality, uh, the district of Amatol, here in the Eastern Cape. Uh, my name uh, goes with TZK uh, because of the campaign that I'm doing. Yeah? Uh, some of uh, some people now they they just uh, uh, took the name as my name. Yeah? Uh, also, Tobazani uh, Junja is an artist. Tobazani uh, Junja is educated. Yeah? I went to school to study in engineering at Usu, and uh, I also did e information technology, although I didn't uh, uh, take further my studies uh, from there because of OB Zoram the Arts. Yeah? Then, um, that's me, that's me. But if you know me better, maybe you can understand me by saying, no Zulu, Mbafanum, Tuman, Masabele, Lubangazita, Utukela. Uh, uh, I'm just a, a man. Yes. Thank you. Um, thank you, TZK. As you say that um, TZK doesn't represent your name. Actually, what does TZK stands for? TZK mean Tembani Zizwe Kungat. Tembani Zizwe Kungat. That's our company. Oh, okay. Your company, what does it specialize in the community? Uh, we are specializing with these uh, music. Yes. Dance, poetry, comedy, uh, also the, 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 the theater side we also entertain our community and also try to educate our kids when we are around home yeah, because our company is based at home yes. yeah. so we are based basically we are doing those things and although we registered our company as a private company which is uh, doing uh, construction uh, supplying other things but we are focusing uh, about e e e educating kids about their roots and the culture. Okay, thank you for answering that question for me. And you say that you started a company, yeah? What did you see wrong that made you start this company of yours? Uh, actually, we are living in a world of, of bad things that are happening around. You can see the way that the kids are, are affected about the dangers of the communities, or kind of the dangers of the uh, environment that they are living in. So basically, we, I, I, I just, uh, I was coming from school then, from Otasi Sulu University, and then I decided to make this because I saw that the kids uh, being uh, attacked by drugs, uh, and also being uh, with around people each and every day which made them to change their minds and basically in, 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 maybe you find them smoking because they saw the elders smoking around sending a kid to shop to say you must go there and buy the beer and other things it makes when you are just um, corrupting the mind of the side of that kid so we made this so that they can be busy in the community. They can be able to concentrate on the, on, on, on other things rather than concentrating on social media, uh, example. Making them to run away from the bad influence. Yes. This Thank is what you. And when you established this project yeah, mm. or company, what obstacles did you face? Many obstacles. You know, you know people, they are talking to you every day. Some, they are saying they are using them. 
some they say that uh, you 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 don't know what to do some they are saying uh, some they don't even appreciate what you do but uh, by being in love with what you do you know exactly what your destination is once you have your goals you cannot stop so what drives me and uh, what makes me to continue to do what I do, although there are obstacles, is, is the passion and uh, the, the dream that I have inside. Yes, I always hear, I'm always hearing people saying, dream as you live and live as if you will live forever. Yeah, that's it. Yes, thank you. And how has this project met all the expectations you had? Because when you start a company or you start a project, you always expect for you are always expecting for something. How did it meet your expectations? Um, in the beginning, I started this group without any expectations. I started it because I wanted to change the, my community first. Uh, the passion of loving my community was driving me to do something for my kids because I like kids. Even uh, previously, I was in the private school teaching the kids for so many years at arts. So uh, I can also just say it's a passion, it's love of what you do, and then you other things they come after you have. Uh, the perseverance, then anything can happen after that. So you need to just to concentrate and you know what you do, then other things can come after. So that's what helped me. As you were doing this for your community, how did the community act? How did the community react about it? They love it. Many people, they love it. And they are proud of what we do. Because they always say that uh, it it makes our community to be recognized, and other people they are saying that it helps their kids to grow wiser, mm -hmm. and it helps them to know where their kids are. You understand? Rather than to don't know where their kids maybe is in sport, uh, whatever, which is uh, drinking, whatever. But they actually know now that they are kids where they are, so they are happy. Okay, thank you. As you are an unsung hero, how could you un encourage other unsung heroes who want to continue doing good work in their communities and tell them how you you survive from the, all the obstacles that came before you? What I can say is, know what you want. Have a dream, after dreams, have goals. Once you got those things, you can even know what you want to be, even at school. If you don't know why you are going to school, it ends up, maybe you end up not even finishing grade 12 because you don't even know where you want to go. So once you know where you want to go, then your dreams will come true because each and every day you sleep you know what you, you, you do for for instance myself I as I like I love art I make sure each and every day I practice what I love most I come up with new product each and every day so that even my kids will be interested in, in, in what they do so have goals and, and dreams and perseverance also don't be changed by mindset of other people to change your goals. All in all, you are saying that even though people will say bad things to you, mm -hmm. but have a dream and have a goal and yeah, make yeah, yeah. each and every effort to make that goal and dream yeah. becoming true. Yes. Okay. Thank you for making time for this interview. And I would like to encourage you to keep doing the good work and keep doing this good work with your community and encouraging more kids to keep on dreaming and having goals in their lives. Thank you. Yeah, thank you even for you to be with me today. It was a wonderful moment of my life.
I thank you. Drop, drop. It's special needs. I go to performances and I gain a lot of experience. Definitely, I was a cleanser. Go to no open the aquas and now, improve and challenge the young people. Go to no open the aqua. I'm going to go to the young people. I'm going to go to the young people. I'm going to go to the young people. I'm going to go to the now we are here to brought Indo Haiti yesterday and I started in the group young boy. I grew up in the group and standing born and grew much older old enough I think. In the same time in 2004 before I even met the man then we started to spend the same time to work one two but I was trying to move but I was trying to move Many different cultures. Jengba ubo na na awe jati. Uko lando yindi chibanta ne sopa ya chau. Eza yebo na mo. Hen buko na lamkento wenze. Lamkento wenze ne. Ula ikisi ngusa kwandu. Yebo. Otherwise, indo eli chanda yo. Eli chanda yebo. Ule yenda. From 